what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since my halloween ends in this video here again today and talking about michael's potential new look and what it might be reminiscent of and talking about some stuff we should probably expect this week according to a new rumor uh that's come out from a live stream that i learned that i learned this from while watching uh fandom empire who i'm imagining got this from his source who's never let him down so viewer non put out this tweet that he's been given a photo of michael myers as he appears for sections of halloween that he's sure is real i'm not going to post it because the studio could freak out at me the full campy if you will but that doesn't mean i can't describe it now the campiest stuff that's of course reference seeing the whole spider-man no way home if you were on twitter for that with john campy and those uh, leaked photos so the description that he gave is that michael's look in halloween ends is very reminiscent of rob zombies halloween 2 he's wearing coveralls but they're dirty green as well as a sleeveless green jacket he's wearing a hood and prepare yourself he's maskless with only the bottom half of his of his face visible in his right hand he holds a giant butcher knife and he has an axe slung over his shoulder he's clearly been living in the wild and i'm sure it wasn't fun for the local wildlife and or hikers now a follow-up tweet that i'm now seeing as i'm recording this is that well i'll just first explain where this came from all in all this came from a like one of the one of the individuals i guess who make custom custom sculptures custom figures of depictions and concepts for upcoming movies i guess that's so far what i've saw because they even had a youtube channel of this figure that they had i'm a I, it looks like that was what the image was that was sent to viewer and on so he wasn't actually sent a legitimate thing from production but the thing about it also is still with this latest tweet that he put out he said that indeed he was conned by a fake but trusting my sources who were also fooled enough that i think this is pretty close so going off of that it seems that what by pure coincidence what this custom sculpture looks like is pretty close to what you might be seeing from michael myers as an appearance in halloween ends just off of pure coincidence because viewer non again claims that they were giving this stuff from someone and then they went to their sources to verify it and it, i guess that they they believe this is what michael will look like or close to it even though the the image that they were shown wasn't from anything involving the actual movie it was involving someone who makes custom figures so the fact that people involved with the movie were fooled enough to then tell them that this is pretty spot on or that yeah he's gonna look like this and give him confidence to believe he's gonna look like this it's like okay so there is a chance that he's gonna be very rob zombie halloween 2 s and i know a lot of people really liked or dug that hobo look that you have in the halloween 2 from rob zombie i'm indif indifferent to it the movie has a lot of other problems that are much bigger than how michael myers looks so i'm not really too concerned about that when it comes to that movie but i'm not against them doing that but i also know that or i think anyway that they've gone out of their way again to already talk about why their timeline is superior but then they're giving a nod to one of i would say is considered one of the worst halloween movies by having michael myers even be reminiscent of a rob zombie type of michael myers looking thing so i don't know why they're doing that if it ends up being true but we'll end up we'll end up getting getting the truth when we see michael myers later on this october when halloween ends releases in theaters because the other thing that's important to remember after the countless videos i've already done talking about the CinemaCon stuff michael definitely doesn't look like that when he's in this kitchen brawl with laurie strode from what was shown at CinemaCon and from other very reputable people who were present at CinemaCon, michael myers didn't look like that he looked like he was in his standard look with a much more deteriorated mask with maybe some new stains on it that i'm hoping are karen's blood stains and he has his standard look which indicates to me then because jimmy champagne actually chimed in saying that he believes it's fake as well uh i think he stated that he's actually seen the look for michael myers and that he believes it's fake now the thing about that is that doesn't mean that michael doesn't have two looks in the movie maybe he does indeed start off a portion of this movie looking like a hobo and then of course when he returns to haddonfield he cleans himself up he's a lot he's back to his normal self he still looks dirty but he has on the classic standard look with his classic mask now i know a lot of people find it hard to accept that he would even dip even go without his mask in the wild 
Uh, especially considering how attached he seemed to be to his mask in these last two movies. So we'll see how that all plays out and why that's a narrative decision they decided to take or why he's, I guess, more inclined to not care about his mask being on or off. So we'll see how that goes. But the other thing we need to talk about again is the Phantom Empire stuff that came out from a recent live stream. I guess what they've been told is that the expectation is that the trailer will release this Thursday on the 14th doesn't mean it's confirmed doesn't mean it's official that's just what they've been told so we'll see that ends up being the case and i guess the expectation also is that marketing will start kicking off as early as tomorrow maybe we'll get a poster maybe we'll get a new interview or something from total magazine get some new maybe official steals from the movie or some new interviews or something like that uh and something just related to kick off the marketing hyping us up and getting us ready for the teaser trailer that's going to release on thursday if it actually happens so again, just to say, Phantom Empire did not say that this is confirmed. They did not say that this was official. They simply stated that this is what they were told. Because I know a lot of people, if Thursday comes and goes, they are going to say, oh, this person lied, that person lied. No, no one lied. <laughs> no one lied. Phantom Empire and stuff that they've been disclosing in the past, everything has seemed to come to light. And I'm assuming again that they got this information from their credible source that contacts them for Halloween information and discloses it to them. So I have no reason to believe that they're lying or trying to purposely lie or anything like that. But the most important thing for this video here was talking about that look for Michael Myers and how Viewer Nine put out that tweet talking about he was given a photo as he appears in itself, how Michael appears for certain sections of the movie. Because I know certain people were freaking out. The important thing I feel like a lot of people were overlooking was the fact that they did mention this is how Michael appears for certain sections in the movie, not how Michael appears throughout the whole entire movie. So Michael Myers could indeed have multiple looks in this movie, considering that we already know he doesn't look like a hobo during his kitchen brawl with Laurie Strode and then of course he himself you or non went to his reputable sources even though this again was a fake image of a custom figure by pure coincidence I guess this custom figure is is near spot on to what he's going to look like as a hobo partially in this movie but we'll see what's true or not true let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video